Hello everyone, I'm going to do a review on this Hoover Clean Slate Carpet and Upholstery Spot Cleaner. This thing looks really nice. I'm very impressed with it. Um, it's got kind of a small profile to it, but yet looks like it's got some pretty nice features. So I'm going to show you the machine, then I'm going to fill it up with some solution. I've got some carpet with some mess on it. Then I'm actually going to clean up a mess and see how well it does. So the first thing you're going to notice, it's got a very nice carrying handle and it's very portable. I really like that function of it. It's very simple to use. It's just got a very simple switch. Here's the solution tank. You're going to lift it off. You're going to turn it over. You're going to unscrew this. It's got a nice large spout for adding the water. And it tells you how much to add. Um, one ounce if you're going to put that much water in it or half an ounce of concentrate. Now the con they do give you this little bottle and it comes with this little measuring cup, which is really nice. Half an ounce and one ounce, but it fits really nice on there. This is kind of like a plunger deal. You're going to screw this back on. This feels really nice. You've got to line up these grooves and that slides back on and clicks. This is the holding tank. It looks like a really big holding tank. That's where the dirty water is going to go. It's got this little handle here. You're just going to press this button and kind of tilt it and it comes out. Now getting this to empty this is a little tricky. You're going to be lifting this whole lid off, which can be a little tricky at first, but this whole lid's going to come off. And the key is just to kind of lift straight up. So there's how you're going to empty the, the dirty water out. There's no real uh, other way. There's nothing that comes off the bottom. There's not an external plug or anything. Here's what that looks like. It's got a nice seal on it. So then you're just going to push it back on, make sure it's nice and flush. And then you're going to kind of go in at an angle and then it'll snap. There's this release up here. So I, I love the look of it, the functionality. So on the back side, we've got the cord. You've got your cord storage. Both of these rotate. So you're going to wrap the cord around this. And then when you want to take it off, you're going to rotate these in and then the cord will come right off. Okay, so I measured the cord. The cord is 15 feet long. That's a really nice cord. And it's three prong and it's got this little thing here. This little clip, you just clip it to the cord and that holds the cord. Again, when you want to pull it off, you just rotate those in. Very easy to get the cord off. Now let's take a look at the head. There's the storage for it. Now make sure when you store it, you've got the trigger pointed in towards the handle. That's how it stays nice and flush. We got this cord. The cord seems pretty flexible. It also seems very long. So the hose is four feet right to this point, which is a, that's a really long hose. Now here we've got the head. You can, you can move the head off. Looks like we can take the scrubbing part off. We can give that a good clean or replace it looks like. Snaps on. This is the solution. When we press this, solution's gonna come out. And then we'll, I'll check the suction through here. Okay, so back on the back side, it does come with one more tool that stores right here. Kind of snaps on. This is the small, like small area tool. So you're just gonna, this is the release button. And then you're simply gonna put that on. So I'll try out both these tools. Now it says it comes with three tools. Well, one tool is this, this is the hose rinse tool. So it's stored right there all the time. And you're simply just gonna put it on like this and we'll try it out. It cleans the hose. It's gonna, it's gonna take solution when you squirt it and it's gonna go into the hose to, to clean the hose out. That's kind of a handy little thing right there. So I just can't stress enough. Now I hope this does really well, but man, it's a nice portable. It's not super heavy. We don't have liquid in it yet, but it's, it's just very compact. Okay, so filling this over, over the sink was very easy. It's, it's easy to hold on to. It's got a big opening. I've got just water in there. Again, this says to use one ounce. So we're gonna do a large area. So this cap is really nice. One ounce is right to there. And then it's got a little thing to pour it in. I like that. Wow, that worked very well. Okay, and then you're simply going to take this. It's got a little screen on there, so that screen may become dirty once in a while, but you're just going to screw that on. Okay, and we're going to turn it over so upside down. Make sure you go straight in. You don't want to go in at an angle. Just go straight in. Okay, so I've got the tool. I've got the hose unwound. 
I've got an old piece of carpet. We're going to put some, like some tea on it. We're going to, I got some grape jelly. We're going to put some grape jelly, kind of smash it in the carpet. And get this all in there. We're going to get some, we're going to try to see how well it gets this out. Okay, so you come up here, you just hit the button. So it's not super loud. And when I want to spray solution, I'm going to press this trigger. Okay, so you may have noticed there wasn't anything coming out. I went to the directions and it says we may have to prime the pump. So I'm going to show you how to prime the pump. First, make sure your water, your uh, solution tank is installed. And it is, it kind of clicks in there. We're going to leave it off. We need to put the, the pump the unit up on the, the counter and the hose down below. Okay, so let's, it says to pull the trigger for a minute. We wanna to try to get water to come out this. This is called priming the pump. There must be an air pocket in there. Okay, so I may have to turn it on. I'm not getting anything to come out. Okay, so I plugged it in and now let's try it. I'm pulling the trigger. Okay, so if you're having trouble getting the solution out your hose, the pump needs primed first. So I just unboxed this Hoover Clean Slate. I put solution in it, and the tank is empty, and I, was, I turned it on, and I wasn't getting anything out the spray wand, okay? Nothing. It was just, I tried it on or off, nothing out the spray wand. So what I had to do is, I had to take this, I had to lower the water level just a little bit, then I had to kind of take this on and off several times because there's kind of an air pocket down in here, I think, that gets to the air pump. So take this on and off a few times. You'll see air coming up through here. But I had to put the unit higher than the hose and then I've got to turn it on and then I got to open this up and then I start to get some fluid out. So let's see. Now this took about 10 minutes and what really helped was putting the hose clean on. So when I put the, ho the hose cleaner on, the hose rinse tool, it kind of helps suck. I was think I think it was kind of helping to suck solution out of the hose. So this took a, this took a while to get that prime. Normally I've never had a problem priming a, a spot cleaner like this. But uh, I would just pull the trigger and nothing would come out. I was wondering what's going on. So, and then I read the manual. The manual says it needs primed. And this was the best way I found to do it. Now, again, it took a while. I had to turn it on and off about six times. I had to just keep lifting this on and off. And I even took the, the little um, bread tie here. And I've kind of pressed on this little thing, this little flap once in a while, just to kind of uh, help with an air pocket maybe. Because when I first filled it up, the water was kind of up past that little black thing. But uh, so I got the water down to here now, turned it on and off a bunch. The hose cleaner, that helped to prime the pump. Okay, so after all that priming the pump, I'm ready to try to, to see how this does clean it. Okay, so I want you to see the spray pattern. And there's the suction. There's the holding tank that it's going into.
Okay, so that, that wasn't too bad. That, that looked like a pretty bad stain. Um, it had some pretty decent suction. The spray pattern, I would like to see the spray pattern just a little bit better. But ergonomically, it's got a good fit to it. If you know, It's got a good feel that you can get some scrubbing action on it. I felt like those bristles were scrubbing pretty good. And it did have some pretty good suction and it did get these stains out pretty good. Okay, so now let's go over cleanup. You're just simply gonna press this button and tilt this. There's your dirty water. So it holds the dirty water pretty good. Okay, so again, you've got the dirty water tank. Just lift this up nice and even. And you're gonna go empty this out. And you know, after a while, you can kind of rinse this out with soap and water too if it gets, if it gets too dirty on the inside there. And you'll want to remember when you take the lid off, that uh, hose rinse tool is right there. That's what fell off. Okay, so now let's put the tank back on. And let's try that other cleaning tool, the one on the back here. Let's try this one. Okay, so let's turn it on. There's the little scrubby. So it, it, the stream comes out. So with this attachment on, it doesn't come out in a fan pattern. It comes out in a stream, which that's pretty nice. And so that's for scrubbing. And then when you're ready for suction, that's how you get the suction. So the suction is not around the scrubbing brush. It's got a whole different place for the suction. So now let's turn it back on. Give it a good scrub. Now turn the tool. Okay, I hadn't seen a tool like that before. That was a little different. It's got nice instructions to show you. So yeah, that worked pretty good. So now let's get the hose, let's clean our hose. So we've done all the cleaning. Say we got, we think we've got some leftover syrup in there or something. Let's put this attachment on. So this attachment really doesn't snap on or anything, but you'll see there's a circle. The circle goes over the spray nozzle. And this is kind of like a half moon there. You'll put it on there and it just kind of fits, kind of just fits over it like that. You're, you're just going to like sit it there, turn it on, and then press the spray trigger. Then I like to take this out and kind of hold the hose up. That way it's just sucking air and it's kind of drying the inside of the hose out. So yeah. Looks like it does a pretty good job of cleaning the inside of the hose too. So yeah, I like the looks of this. I like the, the portability of this. It looks really nice. It's easy to, to uh, clean up. It's easy to kind of fill up, empty this. It's got a nice long hose on it. You know, the uh, getting the priming the pump was a little tricky, but after it's primed, it looked like it was working pretty good. So thanks everybody for watching.